I think it's excellent advice to uh, do things in group. Would you recommend the same? Absolutely. That's a, a, a huge missing piece, um, particularly in the type of environments uh, the average American works in, especially if you work at a cubicle or, or office space. That social part of your life starts to kind of get, start, starts to dwindle. Even your family life starts to dwindle. The more hours we work, um, we get home tired. We're, we're, we're more f mentally tired, but that translates into physical tiredness. And it's a real thing. It's not something they're just making up. Um, so absolutely, if you're at work, um, get up, you know, go talk to a, a, a co-worker, um, have lunch together. Um, those things have such a huge impact on your health, more than, more than uh, gets enough credit than just the exercise and, and nutrition part. Of course, those are very important as well. Um, but the socialized uh, part of it is, is huge. Um, I don't know if you've, you've probably heard of the Blue Zones. Sure, um, The absolutely. big study they did where they um, located certain countries throughout the world um, who had um, populations that lived to 100, mm -hmm. um, but without health issues, not just in living. Italy. One of them was One in Italy, was in, as a matter of fact. Was in Italy. I believe in Sardinia. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Sardinia, good, good. Um, and one of the biggest takeaways, uh, other than, than a lot of the diet, you know, very Mediterranean-style diet, um, a lot of legumes, involved in that but one of the biggest takeaways from that study that they found in common with all those different countries was the social aspect of it absolutely there was a very tight-knit group of family and friends that looked after each other that looked out for each other that went out for walks together that mm -hmm. gathered together and that was probably the one single thing um, that connected all of them yeah. um, as far as health